Hey everyone, this is Matthew with BuildYourOwnBlog.net and in this video I want to give you a little tour of the WordPress dashboard. Some people refer to the dashboard as the back end. It's sometimes referred to as the back end of your website. So here in the WordPress dashboard, this is where you manage everything about your website. Its appearance, the blog, its functionality, its settings, and its password protected. So only you and people that you give permission to can access the WordPress dashboard. This dashboard is comprised of a sidebar, the top navigation bar, and the information here in the middle. Most of the time you're going to be digging into the sidebar here on the left to find what you need. So starting at the top here you've got your updates and this is where WordPress will notify you whenever something like one of your plugins or one of your themes needs an update. As long as you have the WordPress version 3.7 and above, your core updates will be updated for you automatically. And now that it's 2015, most of you new bloggers will be beyond that version for sure. But if you have an older version, you may still need to do those core updates on your own. This post section is where you add new content to your blog, as well as make adjustments on previously published blogs. It's also where you add your categories and your tags. So below your posts is the Media Manager. This is where you can find your storage of images and videos, as well as add new ones to your media library for future use. Pages is where you create your static web pages. For example, the About page or a Contact page, or any other additional web page. You can get access to the pages that you've already created as well as add a new one all here in the pages section. Next we have comments and this is where you manage your comments that people leave on your blog. Whenever someone leaves a comment on your blog you will see a little notification here. This is where you approve comments, mark comments as spam, and delete comments. Next you will see appearance where everything that has to do with your blog's design as well as functionality can be found. Here you're going to find your themes, your customizations, your widgets, the header, the menus, background, and the editor. Next we have plugins. Plugins are simply coded functions that you can add to your website that provide all kinds of various functionalities to your website. For example, the social media share buttons. There are plugins for those. If you wanted a sidebar, there are plugins for those. If you wanted the Yoast SEO plugin, this is where you would install it. You can turn plugins on and off here, add a new plugin. All of your plugin management is found here. And when a plugin needs updating, you'll see a little orange dot notification like you do right here. Another great thing about WordPress is that most of your plugins are free. The users section is where you edit your user profile and add new users to your website. If you ever need to do some extended tasks on your WordPress blog, like importing and exporting your blog content, then this is where you would come to next is the tool section. Your settings is where you control a lot of the different functionalities of your blog, such as your general settings like your site title and your tagline, your email address, your membership, your time zone, your time format, etc. Your writing settings like converting emoticons, your reading settings such as how many blog pages you want to display at one time, discussion settings, that control things like your comments and your email, your media settings, such as how large your photos are, and your permalinks, how you want your links to be set, the structure of your links. From your top navigational bar, you'll be able to visit your site, update your plugins, approve your comments, and add a new post to your blog. Or add a new post to your blog, add new media to your library, add a new page to your website, or add a new user to your website. The middle section also provides you with some shortcuts to get to where you want to go or what you want to do. For example, with at a glance, you can get quickly to a comment, post, or a page. You can see your most recently published blog post and get to that real easily right here. 
and you can start a new blog very quickly right here with what's called the quick draft well that wraps up our WordPress dashboard tour I hope you found this video helpful for more of my helpful videos be sure to check out buildyourownblog.net or visit my YouTube page build your own blog be sure to subscribe to my YouTube page as well take care and I'll talk to you again soon